Notice your comments. Bob? Um, I'm going to try to shorten this down. I'm Bob Cox. As most of you know, we're in the Beaver Down Wastewater, Regional Wastewater. They call it the District Board that we serve on. Mr. Halls is Beaver Down's other member. He had about higher presentation. I think I can short it. Okay. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Uh, we, everything I'm glad to report to you is going well, other than we got one of the entities that's involved in this that had some problems with the cash flow and all. And we work, give them grants. We've done different things to work with them, even lower the rate some, which it is now. But it, none of it seemed like it's helped them in any way. You know, they still got problems. And they owe in excess of 200000 right now. And it's soon going to be a burden on the others to take care of the situation. Now, y'all know all this was set up several years ago, and everybody voted and agreed to what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. And now they're not happy with any of it. But that's what I can tell them. I don't understand, you know, why, why now. But we've tried to work with them, and, and we'll continue to do that. But about the only thing they've left for us to do is to seek legal counsel can you know consider that they're unpaid bill mm -hmm. and, and nobody wants to see anybody have a problem i mean i know people has cash flow problems cities especially they're always raising stuff and everything but things that went well the last few months because it's been real dry but now over the weekend you don't know what happened we're looking at we're what five six inches all together different places and that's going to probably create a even more problem for our yeah, so that far behind with the dry season. Uh, they haven't paid anything. I really don't know when. I think so. Uh, so they haven't paid anything? It's been two or three months. I think. Okay. That right? We, we did get the loan payment from them today. You we did get it today? The loan payment. Oh, okay. That we, you know, the money that we let them borrow. Yeah. It did, they did get that today, but that's it. Nothing on the water bill. I'm sure. All I'm sure. that stuff that they said they were going to pay the last meeting, and they said we will pay this on this date, and this on this. None of that's been paid. Oh no. Okay. And that's just you know I'm here to advise y'all that <coughs> instead of paying, they chose to go to the paper and to the TV news and act like it's the water di or the <coughs> district board problem that's causing all this. When actually, all this has been set up for a long time. You know, it's all been agreed on how it's going to be, who was going, how they're going to pay, and everything. We haven't done anything different that I know of on the buildings or what they owe. Well, one thing I can say you've done different, you have discounted the rates for almost two years now. Well, yeah, we tried to, you know, we didn't give them grants and, and not been too bad about making them pay them back. And then they say, bought them a back old. What? Well, uh, we've done dusty stuff. Excuse me, Bob. They're not getting any grant now, are they? They're not paying anything, right? No. Okay. But anyways, they are getting a reduced bill right now. For I guess that's, that's, I know they reduced the I, I, real, I realize that, but, but it's, it's no, because they're not paying anything anyway, so. So anyways, they left the rest of the people that's involved in it, city of Centertown, city of Beaver Down, and Industrial Park, and I guess you could say Southern School also very involved in it. You know, they're going to kind of put them in a bind if it keeps on. And I just want to advise y'all that we've been advised by our attorney that about the only thing we can do is seek action in court. And probably that's what's going to happen. You know, they agreed to do this and everything's set up on them doing it. Now, if sometime in the future, the mayors and everybody in these cities wants to do something different, get together, I'm sure the board will do whatever y'all ask them to do. And I know, and I, because I've attended a couple of meetings down there, and, and there was some question about asking for a reduction of rights, and we were involved in that. And but I think the regional wastewater, you, you you didn't come back and say we're lowering our rates. They reduced them for a year at a time to help the cities. Here's what happened: help the cities work into all this. And they I think we've done set, that twice for two years now. Yeah, at, at the very beginning they had it set. Maybe it might have been something. You know what I mean? Right. But they're trying to build up enough in case they had a problem. Well. As time went by, it's almost 10 years old. Now we're having some problems now. Replacing pumps and different things because the system's older and it's handling more waste than it ever did. 
so yeah, it's up some for the volume and all, but at the same time, it, it's not going to get any better in that respect, you know. We're, do everything we can to hold the rates down. Right now, it, it's uh, if you went by what the book would, it'd be two ninety three a thousand gallon. But actually, it's about two sixty something because they figure in this grant that the way they're letting them pay, trying to help Harper, you know. Of course, if y'all involved in it, they didn't say right. Well, I know this is lowering the rates for the city people as well. <clears throat> but uh, I just wanted to advise y'all that the, his ongoing problem concerning Hartford's non payment. But everything else seems like it's moving along pretty good. The system's working good. We hope to keep it that way. But we got to figure out some way to do, take care of what the problem is right now. Y'all meet so, next Tuesday, don't you? Yeah, you know, we're supposed to meet tomorrow, but due to fall break, they decided to wait till next Tuesday. And they put a plan in the paper, you know, that they were going to have a reorganization plan for Beaver down the center, down north. I don't think y'all had any involvement in that, did you? I didn't know about the letter glass. But you haven't had a chance to read it? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't really understand what the whole situation is. All they need to do is pay the bill, it be a problem. Well, and like I say, I know we have, we have discussed about would like to see the lower rates, and and well, and I'd always take them lower, but I feel like the original ones were you met us halfway, you did, yeah. Like I said, you're only doing it for a year at a time, and I can I can, yeah, I can appreciate it's, that. Uh, it's you all system, man. Right. Here's the thing about it. If uh, we just say I don't pass nothing and just let it go, who's gonna wind up paying? Yeah, it's still gonna right. come back to us. It's, it's... <laughs> and the bottom line is, y'all gonna be responsible for it because you, you know you got to have it. And, and everything, so. Well, everybody knows what happens if you don't raise your rates. Then that rate increased almost 10 years ago. I don't think they've ever been raised. Oh, no, they've never been raised. I don't think they've ever been raised. But we had a rate study done, and they, they talked about we need to raise our rates in 2018. Uh, whether or not that's so, well, this has to remain to be seen. Uh, and we can change a different idea on that, but you know, take the of that all to the board. a whole bunch more places that similar to us, and our rate is much lower than most of them. So, like I said, we'll do where well, I've I, I told them numerous times I serve for Beaver Dam, and Beaver Dam tells me to do something, I'll do that or I'll resign. That's the two options I can see that I've got. So, you know, I serve for y'all, so if y'all want to do something different, I'm just there to advise you, it looks like it's going to get legal. I just want y'all to be aware. Well, we appreciate, appreciate the heads up. Man. Appreciate Bobby, Bob, you and Lonnie for serving on that board. I, we, if if anybody it. wants a wants a job down there, they can have man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It pays good. Yeah, I hate you to get that pay up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just don't want to do that to you. Thank y'all. We do appreciate the time, the time and effort. I think that and Mr. Conway, he's supposed to have all this taken care of when I left out here years ago. <laughs> you better be careful. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'd take part of that. Maybe I'd take part of that back. <laughs>